Hey guys, it's Haley and welcome to another bookish video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my October TBR. I am so excited to get into all of the spooky books. This is my favorite reading month of the year, so I have a crazy, insane TBR <laughs> to share with you guys. I have so many amazing horror and thriller books here for the spookiest TBR ever. And I will be obviously sharing my readathon TBR. If you didn't know, I'm hosting a readathon in October. It's called Happy Haleyween. I'm gonna be telling you about the prompts just as a little reminder and sharing my TBR, all of the books that I've chosen to fulfill those prompts. I will link my video down below where I'm introducing the readathon, giving all the information, and we have merch! The merch will stop being sold at the end of the readathon, so you only have a couple weeks. Go ahead and grab your merch while you can so we can all be cute and matching together during the readathon. Before we get into the TBR, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Book of the Month! Y'all know I love Book of the Month. I get this little blue box every month and it brings me so much joy. If you don't know, Book of the Month is a monthly book subscription service where you can get a brand new release or even early release sometimes hardcover book for the lowest price available, at least that I've seen. So let me show you guys two of this month's picks. The first one I have here is Foul Lady Fortune by Chloe Gong. And I'm not a fantasy girl, y'all know that, but some of my best friends in real life have been loving this book. So this was one of my picks. And then of course I had to get a spooky one. So I also got The Kiss Curse by Erin Stern. This is a repeat author for Book of the Month. If you loved The X-Hex last year, you will love The Kiss Curse as well, I'm sure. And if you use my code TREAT, right down below, TREAT, you will get your first Book of the Month for only $9.99. Hello, $10 for a brand new or early release hardcover book? What? Where, who else is doing this? They are the only people in the game right now doing this, I swear. And super, super exciting news that Book of the Month is now available in Canada. I know this is something that they've been working towards for a really long time. And a lot of my Canadian subscribers have been waiting for this. So go girl, go, go get your Book of the Month and use code TREATS. They truly are such an amazing bookish service. You can skip any month for no charge at any time. They're very easy to work with, but why would you ever skip when they have such amazing picks? There are five to seven picks per month, so there's always something for everyone. And I just love Book of the Month so much. So as always, the code and the link will be down below. And thank you again to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's TBR. So the first books that I want to talk about are for my book club, which is over on Patreon. The Patreon link is always down below if you want to join. We have a very fun time over there. And over there is where I host my Pretty Girl Book Club. The October pick is Look What You Made Me Do by Elaine Murphy. And this is a campy thriller about a girl who cleans up after her sister who is a serial killer. It's giving me very, very much My Sister the Serial Killer vibes and I absolutely loved that book. So I'm super excited to get into this one with my patrons this month and discuss it. And then hopefully I will have time this month to read the sequel, which I actually bought without even knowing about the first book. So I thought the synopsis was real interesting on its own. This is basically about the sister character that we're following in the first book trying to rebuild a life after stopping helping her sister with her murdering habits. So I'm very excited to read this duology and discuss with my besties on Patreon. Next up, should we just jump into my Happy Halloween TBR? I think we should. So there are five prompts for the readathon and I have five books to share with you guys. I wanted to read one book per prompt because I'm extra and it's my readathon, but you definitely don't have to do that. There are tons of books that would fit multiple prompts. It's only a four-day readathon, but I'm attempting to do 
five books. We'll, we'll see how this goes. But the first one on my TBR is the Buddy Read for the Readathon, which is The Mother Next Door by Tara Laskowski. This is the Buddy Read because it takes place on Halloween night. And that is one of the prompts is to read a book that takes place or is set on Halloween. Obviously, you could use Daisy Darker or Autumn Crow. I know a lot of people are reading those, but this is the buddy read and we will be discussing it on Patreon. And I'm also going to be reading this one during sprints, so it will be super fun if we're all reading the same books during sprints for the readathon, you know. It'll be super cute. But basically, this is a suburban mom thriller, rich people drama galore where there's this group of mothers and they just cannot handle the new woman coming on the block. They just lost somebody in their friend group and they do not need another lady coming in here and trying to F it up again. But something happens where they see an advantage in bringing this new girl into their group under their wing and things go crazy from there. My next book on my Haleyween TBR is the next Molly Southbourne book. I am so excited to complete this series this month. I started it last October and I'm so ready to bring it back. The Molly Southbourne series is a series of horror sci-fi-ish novellas by Tade Thompson. Tate Thompson is a black author, so it fits my prompt for reading a book by a BIPOC author. And if you're looking for a good horror book for the BIPOC author prompt, I highly, highly recommend the Molly Southbourne series. They're so short and quick, but they are so entertaining. I love our main character, Molly. She has this special disorder where she spawns a new clone of herself anytime she bleeds. And this clone is not just a nice benign clone, it's trying to kill her. I absolutely loved the first book, so I'm super excited to see how Molly's character develops in the second iteration, and I will also be reading the third book this month as well. The next prompt for Happy Haleyween is to read an indie published book. Obviously, you can read anything on Kindle Unlimited by those indie authors, but one of my favorite independently published authors is obviously Judith Sonnet. I love her. I am obsessed with her extreme horror. So I am reading her newest release called Something Akin to Revulsion. Uh, can we just that title for a moment? And this is a short story collection of extreme horror moments. I'm so excited. Again, this one is pretty short, just over 100 pages. So I should be able to knock it out in a sprint. And hopefully I will complete my TBR. The next Happy Haleyween prompt is to read a book by an LGBTQIA author. So I am going to be reading Exquisite Corpse by Poppy Z. Bright. And I know so, so, so many of y'all have been wanting me to read this, including Matt. Matt, okay, I'm reading this for you. Bestie, this is for you because he has literally been begging me to read this book. So that's what I'm going to do. I know this book is going to be right up my alley, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. And I figured October is the perfect time. We are following a serial killer who sees his murders as art. Very arty boy, living, loving, laughing, killing. That is the vibe. And he teams up with Jay Byrne, who is another killer. And they set their sights on young Vietnamese American runaway Tran, who they deem to be the perfect victim. Swiftly moving from the grimy streets of London's Piccadilly Circus to the decadence of New Orleans French Quarter, Poppy Z. Bright dissects the landscape of torture and invites us into the mind of a killer. Does that not sound perfect? I'm so excited to get to this one and it's just over 200 pages, so another little short one. The last book on my Happy Halloween TBR is Gone to See the River Man by Christopher Triana because this fulfills the extreme horror prompt. Again though, you don't have to read an extreme horror book. It just can mean something extreme for you. But of course, me personally, I'm gonna read some extreme horror. And this is one that I've heard so many good things about. I'm really excited to dip my toes in and read my first Christopher Triana. This is about a woman who becomes obsessed with a serial killer, corresponds with him in jail, 
and he ends up roping her into doing this deed for him so he can do something from within the walls of the prison through manipulating her. So she does this task and the task entails going to see the river man. So that's what she does. And apparently it's extreme horror that's really amazing that a lot of people love. So there we go. That is my entire TBR for Happy Halloween. But the horror does not stop there. I have a horror vlog planned for the first week of October as well. And this TBR might change because I'm gonna let myself mood read a lot this month because it's my favorite reading month of the year. But I'm pretty sure these guys are gonna be included in the vlog. First up, we have Below by Laurel Hightower. And this is about a woman who gets into a car wreck or her, her car breaks down or something. Basically, she has to hitchhike with this guy, but they get into a situation where another hitchhiker is in the mix and he seems creepy and like a killer. So our main character has to decide if she's going to save the benign stranger who stopped to help her with her car trouble or if she's gonna hightail it out of there, save herself and sacrifice this man to the creature that they have encountered. Next up for that vlog is Dark Harvest by Norman Partridge. And this is a cozy little horror novella that takes place in a little town during Halloween in 1963. So this is another one that you can use for the Halloween prompt for Happy Halloween. And it's about a killer pumpkin head creature that goes through the town committing acts of violence. I mean, how much more spooky Halloween could you get? I will also be attempting to read The Troop by Nick Cutter. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't do well with body horror. We know this. I've thrown up multiple times reading books. So I um, might have to read this one on a day where I'm going to starve myself because <laughs> not that I starve myself often, but like I know if I start reading this book, I'm not going to be able to eat. So I plan my life around eating. I love to eat. And if I know I'm going to go to a good restaurant on a certain day and I'm reading this book, I'm going to be pissed. So yeah, I don't know if this one's going to happen, but I'm going to try. This one, if you didn't know, is about a group of Boy Scouts on a camping trip and they fall under the clutches of this evil, weird disease, the man who spreads the disease to the children and then gross things happen from there. It's giving bugs, it's giving gross, it's giving body horror, it's giving cannibalism, period. I also want to read the hotly contested Nothing But Black and Teeth by Cassandra Ka book in that vlog because I've seen such mixed opinions on this. I don't know if I could name a more divisive book than this for the horror community. Some people love it, think it's campy, fun, dramatic, and not that serious. Other people are out here giving it one star, so I just need to know what's going on here and give you guys the full tea. This is about a group of college friends who are having a little reunion at one of their friends' weddings, but the wedding venue is at a haunted house and the lady of the manor does not like the way that they're treating her home. And the final book that I'm hoping to include in that vlog is Just Like Mother by Anne Heltzel, and this is a culty horror book with a lot of intergenerational trauma conversations. I got this rec from Miss Livy Ridalate on booktube. She said I would like it, so I'm very excited to get into it and see if I do. Y'all know I am not a big fan of cult horror, cult thrillers, cult stuff is just not my fave. So we'll see if this one can break the mold. I think from the synopsis, we don't see a lot happening in the cult, which is where I tend to start to get bored. If we're like on the compound, mm, I'm not into it. But this seems like a lot of aftermath. Like this girl and her cousin have escaped a cult and then years later, something comes back to haunt them. So it's dealing with a lot of aftermath, a lot of trauma. Y'all know I love to read about fucked up family dynamics. So high hopes for this one even though the cult vibes do scare me a bit. And the rest of these books, 
in this video are just gonna be books that I really freaking wanna read in October. I have a huge stack here, so who knows how many of these I will actually get to, but this is going to be the pile that I'm going to be mood reading out of for the month of October. First, we have Cackle by Rachel Harrison. This is a buddy read for my Patreon book club, so of course, y'all know I'm gonna be reading it. And it's a witchy book. I've never read a witchy book, and it gives like very Halloween Town vibes. Basically, this woman moves to a new little small town and befriends the weird lady, the lady in the town that nobody likes, and soon finds out that she's a witch. One of the books I am probably the most excited to get to is Clown in a Cornfield 2, Friendo Lives. And that, I just think this is going to be the most campy, fun, YA horror, not deep, just a slasher fest. If you've read Clown in a Cornfield 1, then you know it is not afraid to go to these gory places, but it's not scary. It's mostly just campy teen fun. So super excited for the sequel. Next up, I have Suburban Hell by Maureen Kilmer. And this is a book about a group of ladies who build a she shed on top of allegedly haunted grounds and some zombie shit happens in the middle of like rich lady suburbia. Y'all know I'm down for the camp rich people vibes all the time and the fact that this is made spooky is everything to me. I'm also planning on reading Tiny Nightmares throughout the month. I think I'll read a couple of these teeny tiny short stories every day in October because I think that sounds fun and cute. Also, can we just look at the illustrations in this book? Like, I love this and I love that it's pink. I love that it's like the cutest, most aesthetic horror you've ever seen in your life. I am absolutely obsessed with this and I cannot wait to tell you guys if this is just cute or if it's actually got some substance. I will hopefully also get to The Night Stalkers by Christopher Triana and Ryan Harding. This is another extreme horror book about two rival grocery stores. One of them, which is just like trying to live and do their little night shift and restock the store and they're just really not having it with this rival grocery store down the street who is filled with a staff of satanic worshipers and they literally want to kill their competition. Does that not sound like the campiest, most fun time you could ever have with a horror book? I know. I also have The Cotton Candy Massacre by Christopher Robinson. This one has been getting a lot of hype on extreme horror TikTok and it's about a killer clown thing. A twisted funfetti nightmare? Thrill seekers and families visiting Bonkin's Bonanza have no idea that this day would be their last and the events that unfolded would go on to become infamously known as the Cotton Candy Massacre. It's another carnival slasher and y'all know I love those. I also have a lot, a lot, a lot of carnival slasher recommendations. I think like four or five of them that I featured in my most recent horror spooky book recommendation video. So definitely go check that out if this sounds like something that you like and you want more recommendations like this book that are already read, tried, and true by me. Next up, I have a spooky book that was so kindly sent to me by a viewer. Andre, thank you so much for sending me this book, Bathhouse by P.J. Vernon. I hear that this has LGBT rep, so I am very here for that, but I haven't heard much buzz about this before it was sent to me. So allegedly, this is about a horrifying experience that happens at a bathhouse while a guy is in there cheating on his partner. But the sexual experience that he was looking for goes terrifyingly wrong. It's described as a harrowing game of cat and mouse, and I am just so beyond down for that. Next up, we have some romance. I know, I know, I know. It's all about spooky season, but I had to throw this one in there because my queen, Katie Robert, had a new vampire book come out. I think vampires are so Halloween, and if I can get some smut in the TBR and keep it spooky, you know I'm gonna do it. I will be reading Court of the Vampire Queen by Katie Robert. This one is thick, y'all. It is 450 pages. <laughs> 
So send prayers, send thoughts, send hope for me. This book is about Mina, who is half human, half vampire. She is eternally torn between the two worlds, never fully experiencing the pleasures of either, until her father chooses her as the pawn in his latest political move, gifting her to the darkly powerful and dangerously seductive Malachi Zeon. Oh! She's gifted to a vampire. It's giving me on Wattpad when I was 13, reading a fanfic about how my family sold me to One Direction. <laughs> like, that is what I'm picturing, but like the horror vampire version of that. So we're following Mina as she is, I guess, passed around the castle, a uh, reverse harem situation with vampires. Yeah, go ahead and say less. I'm also really highly anticipating getting to Temper by Lane Fargo. I absolutely love Lane Fargo's writing style and this book follows a female killer who has a temper. We follow an actress in Chicago as she is increasingly annoyed by her male counterparts in the theater scene. And one day she snaps and her temper goes out of control. The next book on my TBR, I do not have physically in my hands yet as it will come out in the month of October, but this month I will definitely be reading Halloween Slaughter by Sergio Gomez. This is obviously the follow-up to Camp Slaughter, which I absolutely loved. I loved, I love that book so much. It got me out of a reading slump, so if you are feeling slumpy this October, pull that one out. It's going to be another slasher following the deliciously cannibalistic villain from the first novel. Next up, I have another YA book just to break up, you know, all the extremeness we have going on on this TBR. I have Lock the Doors by Vincent Ralph. I loved Vincent Ralph's first book, which was 14 Ways to Die. It was super fast paced, so I'm hoping this one will be the same way. This is about a family who moves into a house where weird occurrences are happening, and the previous owners of the house they just moved into actually just moved across the street. So they're just across the street, like, watching this new family, observing the creepy things that are happening to them. Who knows what's going on with that, but I can't wait to find out. And the last book on my October TBR is Reprieve by James Hahn Matson. This is an escape room thriller about all these people who want to win this cash prize at the end of the escape room. So they're out here fighting to the death, trying to win, but... Apparently something happens in there. Before they can complete the challenge, a man breaks in and kills one of the contestants. Yeah, so apparently I've heard this one is super, super slow, even though the synopsis makes it sound really, really fast. So this one might be a DNF. That is my bold prediction that I, I, after hearing what you guys have said in the comments, I'm probably not gonna love this one, but I'm still going to try it regardless because it sounds so, so intriguing just based on the synopsis. So yeah, this is my very flexible October TBR. I don't know if all these are gonna be in my wrap up, you know, plans may change. I may get sucked into a Kindle Unlimited Extreme Horror rabbit hole. And if that happens, you know what? I'm just gonna let it happen. Cause it's October, baby. This is my month. Just like 86 was Eddie's year. October is my month and I cannot wait to read these books. So those are all of my reading plans. Thank you again so much to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check them out down below and get your first book for $9.99. Go ahead and like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to go to therapy and read a book this week. I will see you guys in my next video.